Today we're going to unbox the contents of this little white box and this box is the Arduino Starter Pack from Adafruit Industries. Should be interesting. this little baby let's talk about the Arduino first of all the Arduino is well let me just read it from the website and the website uh, is www.arduino.cc that's a r d u i n o dot c c link right there hopefully okay and uh, what you'll find is once you visit the Arduino homepage you'll get a definition let me just read this to you Arduino is an open source electronics prototyping platform based on flexible easy to use hardware and software it's intended for artists designers hobbyists and anyone interested in creating interactive objects or environments basically what we're gonna get is we're gonna get a little tiny Arduino board that has a series of inputs and a series of outputs and in the middle there's this microprocessor that we can use to control those inputs and outputs and we'll look at that a little bit later now what I plan on doing is we're gonna do the unboxing today and in a subsequent podcast I'm, or video cast I'm going to show you how to hook that up to your computer and uh, we'll see how it works and there is a programming uh, language involved with it and we'll take a look at that programming language as well it's roughly based on C so you'll uh, be familiar with it if you've done any C programming in the past but for now let's see what's in this box now I chose to purchase my Arduino board from Adafruit Industries Adafruit Industries is available at www.adafruit.com and again hopefully that's going to show up down here somewhere right there and the reason I chose to purchase my Arduino from Adafruit is they have a wonderful little package called the Arduino Starter Pack cost sixty five dollars plus shipping and handling and uh, inside you not only get the Arduino board but you get everything you need to get started in the world of electronics and in the world of microprocessor controllers so uh, I think it'll be fun and uh, here in just a minute we'll break out the box and open it up alright let's take a look and see what we have here now I don't have any fancy cameras looking down so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, open this and just kind of show you the parts and uh, let's see what we have here I've already broke the seal obviously because I showed you earlier the uh, yeah that thing so uh, I'll set it down here and uh, you'll hear some wrestling through my favorite let's see, oh there we go oh gotta have the uh, the good stuff here all right and we have another white box and in this box I I suspect let me see here let me change some things here that we will find a adapter an adapter here this is a, a little five volt probably let's see looks like it's a nine volt output so uh, that's going to be available to us that'll be for providing power to our arduino board the arduino board can receive power my understanding anyway we'll get into it from either the usb on your from your computer or you can power it separately see the beauty of the arduino is you can set all this up program it within the computer send the program to the arduino unplug the arduino and have it go elsewhere to do tasks so it doesn't have to be tethered to your computer all the time so this is a way that we can provide ac or, uh, to dc power to the arduino board in a remote location away from your computer pretty cool let's see what else we have looks like we have the small little uh, tiny breadboard and this is uh, i think it's a quarter size breadboard and it's designed to fit on top of your Arduino board. I'll tell you what, let's let's get right to the meat of it here. Let's see if we can find that Arduino in here. Because uh, I know you are anxious to see the Arduino board. So here it is. It's in its little package and uh, I've already opened it up here. Let me break this out here. Yes, for you purists out there, this is not a first time breaking open. Uh, I actually have looked at this, but I thought it'd be... Uh, I've only actually had it out, I think, once, but I thought it'd be fun just to go through the parts. So no, this isn't a pure... You know, 100% unbought, whatever. Okay, so anyway, let's get in here. Here it is, folks, the Arduino. And I'm going to show this to you up close. This is way cool. There it is. You'll notice it's the Arduino. And, you know, this, this pronunciation has just eluded me. So if anybody out there can help me out, that'd be great. I think it's Dysamilla. So that's the name... In all honesty, I should have done my research before I did this and checked it out, but here you go. And you can see that it has all kinds of uh, components on there. And in the next video cast, I'll probably spend some time telling you what these components are. Let me give you a little side view here. Yeah, that's pretty obvious what that is. That's our little USB port. You can see that. 
Okay, and uh, here's where we plug in our power adapter. So we could take our little power adapter here and plug it right in and provide external power somewhere else. Okay, so there's the Arduino board. So let me put that back in its little green static free pack here. Keep it protected. And let's go on and see what else Adafruit has decided would be a nice inclusion into our Arduino starter pack. All right, uh, there's the breadboard. Of course, we can have a USB cable. Uh, I think this is a little three foot USB cable that allows to tether or connect the Arduino to our, in my case, MacBook Pro. And uh, it does work with Linux and it does work with Windows, so don't let that scare you away. Have some fun with it. Uh, looks like we have here is a 9 volt battery adapter. Let's see if it's 9 volts or what we have here. Yes, 9 volt. So we have a 9 volt there. We also have uh, a plug that we can connect to the wires or we can wire this directly to the board. So there's a couple of ways to get power. In. That is so if you don't have access to AC power, you can give it power and deploy it somewhere else. I think what will be neat is as we go through this, you'll see some of the ways that folks have used the Arduino. You can see where this comes in handy. Say, uh, for instance, you want to connect your Arduino to your Lego robot and have it running around the house. Here's the external power supply. Hmm, that could be an interesting project for us. What else do we have? We have a whole pack of electronic components. Looks like we have some potentiometers, we have some resistors, uh, we have, oh, my favorite, which we'll be working with on our next podcast. We have these little LEDs. We have some uh, red LEDs, and I think we have some white ones in there. Let's see. Yeah, we got a white one in there as well. So there's a LED, and we have these wonderful little micro switches. I love these. Let me see if I can get one out for you. These are little micro switches. See that? And what we can do is we can press that. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, there's a little momentary switch there, and that's pretty cool. So those are some electronic components. And there you see we have a little uh, potentiometer. Let me break that out here for you. And a little potentiometer or a pot, as some people like to call them. There we go. So we have that as well. And what we can do is we can add these components to our 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 our, this is hard to say, our Arduino, and uh, we can make it more useful and uh, interact with other electronic components. So pretty neat. Pretty nice little starter package. I think the website tells us exactly what we have. Let me uh, share that with you. We have a 10K, 10K potentiometer, 1K potentiometer, two small push buttons, five red diffused uh, bright LEDs, uh, red, green, blue, ultralight, ultra bright LED, five 100 ohm resistors, five 1K resistors, five 10K resistors, and a CDS photo cell. So we've got a photo cell in there. That'll be really cool. Let's see what else we have. Here we have our Proto, Proto Shield. Uh, and which is uh, it says on the website one of my designs it's got everything you need to make prototype designs using an Arduino note that it comes unassembled by default so uh, and then we also have some more components built inside here so I have to do some more research and see how we might be able to use that uh, let's see what do we else do we have oh yes we have some of course instructions here and uh, actually that's my shipping so don't have any instructions so that's the components of the starter set. Now, it also says that for tutorials, it tells us a little website to visit. There it is. See it? It's www.ladyada.net slash learn slash Arduino. Hmm. I think we'll need to check that out. And on that website, we'll find some tutorials to get us started. So, there you go. The Arduino starter pack from Adafruit Industries. And uh, that concludes our little unboxing video. And again, next time we're actually going to take some time and hook this Arduino up to the computer and see if we can get what's the equivalent of a Hello World program running. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed our quick little venture into the world of the Arduino and Adafruit's Arduino Starter Pack.